It is a remarkable fact that human beings have explored the surface of Mars more than the oceans present on Earth. The technological challenges linked to the deep water exploration had prevented the researchers to be able to explore the depths of the oceans. However, since the invention and adoption of sonar technology, researchers have got new insights into the world that lies under the oceanic waters. By using advanced technology, researchers seem to be finding some of the most incredible new species, natural phenomenon, and ancient treasures hidden in the depths of the ocean. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five amazing ocean discoveries. The Anomaly Beneath the Sea of Galilee In the summer of 2003, a giant monumental stone structure was discovered buried under the waters of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. Made from basalt boulders and cobbles, the cone-shaped structure is estimated to have a weight of about 60,000 tons. The structure rises about 32 feet high and has a diameter of 230 feet. Archaeologists are puzzled by the mysterious discovery. They cannot tell when it was built and what its exact purpose was. However, a number of theories have been presented about this anomaly buried under the Sea of Galilee. Similar structures have been found in other parts of the world and many of those were actually used for marking burials. Since the discovery of this mysterious stone monument in the Sea of Galilee, the researchers have carried out a number of diving operations to learn more about the structure. It was discovered that most of the boulders used for the construction are around one metre long and the construction does not seem to have any specific pattern. There are no signs of cutting or chiselling. Also, there are no signs of walls or other arrangements that mark the boundaries of the structure. After extensive studies, researchers have concluded that the structure is definitely human-made. It is believed that it was built on land and it got covered by water at a later stage when the water levels rose in the Sea of Galilee. According to Yishak Paz, a researcher at the Ben Gurion University, this structure could be 4,000 years old. Researchers have also discovered some other megalithic phenomena belonging to the same time period, near the mysterious stone structure. Underwater archaeological expeditions have been planned in the near future in order to know more about this mysterious stone monument lying under the Sea of Galilee. The Massive Size of Tamu Massif About 1,600 kilometres from the coast of Japan, a giant volcano named Tamu Massif is present under the waters of the Pacific Ocean. It is the largest single volcano documented on Earth. It is estimated that Tamu Massif covers an area of more than 100,000 square miles. This is roughly equivalent to the state of New Mexico or the British Isles. Tamu Massif has nearly the same size as some of the big volcanoes discovered on the surface of Mars. The massive size of Tamu Massif is quite mind-blowing considering the fact that the second largest volcano on Earth, known as Mauna Loa, spreads on an area of only 2,000 square kilometres. The top of the Tamu Massif volcano is buried about 6,500 feet below the surface of the ocean and its base extends down to approximately 6.4 kilometres into the ocean floor. Tamu Massif is made of basalt and it has been found to be the oldest feature of Shatsky Rise, which is an oceanic plateau in the Pacific Ocean. Researchers have been studying the Shatsky Rise and the surrounding area for more than two decades. They have found that the slope of Tamu Massif is much gentler when compared to other seamounts. The slope is estimated to be only one degree near the summit of the volcano. It is estimated to be less than half a degree down the flank. It is such a small angle that if a person was standing on Tamu Massif, they would have a very hard time knowing which side was going downwards. Previously, researchers believed that there were several large volcanoes buried under that particular area of the Pacific Ocean. However, subsequent research showed that lava flows started from the centre of Tamu Massif and travelled in all directions up to hundreds of kilometres. No signs of any secondary sources of volcanic activity were found. Researchers were astonished to find that what they thought to be several volcanoes was in fact one supervolcano that dwarfed every other volcano on the planet. It is believed that the volcano became inactive during the late Jurassic period, about 145 million years ago. Gribschunden 
During the 1970s, a local diving club discovered the wreck of an unusual ancient Danish ship in the Baltic Sea just north of the island of Stora Ekon. The wreck was found lying at a depth of 10 meters. The divers were not aware that what they had discovered was actually a highly significant archaeological find. Therefore, they did not tell the archaeologists about the discovery until the year 2000. Once archaeologists found out about the wreck, they investigated the wreck and in 2013, by using advanced techniques like dendrochronological sampling, they identified the ship as Gribschunden. The archaeologists found that the ship was made from the oak trees that felled during the winters of 1482 and 1483. Gribschunden, which is also known as Gribschund, Griff, and sometimes Griffone, was a Danish warship used by John the King of Denmark from 1481 to 1513. It is believed that the ship sank in 1485 as a result of a fire. This ship has a very unique design, especially made for psychological warfare. The ship features a beak of an eagle, giant teeth, and a screaming man that sticks out of the mouth. Archaeologists have also found the traces of paint used to colour the figurehead. Researchers are now trying to figure out the exact colour with which the figurehead of the ship was painted. Gribschunden is considered to be one of the best preserved shipwrecks from the medieval period. Several parts of the wreckage, including the figurehead, have been brought to Copenhagen for further research. It is currently in the custodianship of the Danish National Museum. The Great Blue Hole Belize Lying near the coast of Belize in Central America, there is a huge marine sinkhole known as the Great Blue Hole. It is present in the center of the lighthouse reef, which is a small atoll located 70 kilometers from the Belize city. The circular sinkhole is 124 meters deep and 318 meters wide. Researchers believe that it was formed as a result of quaternary glaciation when the sea levels were lower. It has been estimated that the formation of the hole took place in different years, starting from about 153,000 years ago and ending about 15,000 years ago. The Great Blue Hole became famous after Jacques Cousteau, who was a renowned explorer, filmmaker, photographer and sea researcher, declared it as one of the best sites for scuba diving. He carried out extensive research to find the depth of the hole and to understand its formation. Initially, the depth of the hole was measured to be 125 meters. However, in 1997, the depth was once again measured by the Cambrian Foundation, and at that time, it was measured to be 124 meters at its deepest point. Researchers believe that this difference in measurement can be a result of the ongoing sedimentation. At the end of 2018, researchers descended two submarines into the Great Blue Hole in order to map the interior. They used sonar scanning and completed 3D mapping of the hole. The Vasa ship. In 1956, a Swedish marine technician named Anders Franzen rediscovered Vasa, which was at one point in history the most high-tech warship in the world. Built between the years 1626 and 1628, the ship made its maiden voyage on the 10th of August, 1628. The much-hyped ship sank during its first voyage. It could only travel 1,300 meters before sinking right in front of the eyes of the horrified public that had assembled to see off the most ambitious warship to have ever been created in European history. Vasa became unstable immediately after starting its first voyage. The exact reasons for its instability could not be determined at the time. In fact, researchers and military experts debated for centuries over the various reasons that could have resulted in making the ship unstable and leading to its sinking. According to some modern-day researchers who have studied the remains of the ship in detail, the gun deck of Vasa was extremely heavy. They believe that the ship was designed by someone who had no previous experience of designing a heavily armed ship. Also, the fact that the king ordered to complete the ship as soon as possible led to the building of an unstable ship that could not survive the first few gusts of wind it encountered. Vasa had 64 guns, including 48 24-pounders, 8 3-pounders, 2 1-pounders and 6 howitzers. The total weight of the ship was 1,210 tons. It had a spared length of 69 meters and a height of 52.5 meters. The ship could carry 145 sailors and 300 soldiers. This magnificent piece of European naval history has been a subject of research for many decades. In 1961, 
the archaeologists recovered thousands of artifacts belonging to Vesa. They also managed to recover the remains of 15 people in and around the wreckage of the ship. The recovered artifacts included cannons, weapons, clothing, coins, tools, cutlery, drinks, food items and sails. Today, the ship is present at the Vesa Museum in Stockholm. Over time, it has become one of the most popular tourist attractions in Sweden. But what do you think of these five amazing ocean discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.